coming on low tide. Another hour and a half. It's about 7.30. Close to 60 degrees outside, T-Rex. Is it okay to go out with bare feet? My feet going to be warm enough? Yeah, I'd say so. Pretty interesting what's going on now. Oh, nice breeze. Good day for sailing, isn't it? Well, yeah, maybe, maybe. Not so much. We have cleaner air coming into the Boston area and points north, cleaner, that is in less smoky, because this air is coming from the North Atlantic across Nova Scotia where it's been raining and the fires have been diminishing. However, you move to the west and south and it is another very smoky morning. Fires continue to expand in Quebec. Trying to do some research on those fires, Turns out the last decade there have been very few fires, so there's a lot more fuel available and it has been very warm and dry. Fires are nature's way of regenerating forests. Must be horrifying to live there. Yesterday working outdoors on Cape Cod, yeah, it was very smoky, but I never smelled the smoke. So the farther you get away from the fires, the more likely it is gonna be elevated. But once you get towards New York, it's a lower level and it's really, uh, I guess it's bad. Uh, to smell even on the ground. Anyhow, let's see if we can't contend with the wind. Oh, kinds of neat clouds, alto cumulus columns, uh, almost a clear sky looking off to the west, looking off to the north. It's very cloudy. Uh, today is the sixth day in a row with rain in New England. It's been raining in Maine almost nonstop. In southern New England, we've had just showers. And yesterday, yeah, I found a shower. Weather follows me, Dennis McCoy. <laughs> You told me to say that, and you are right. Very interesting where I was going in that rain and who I was gonna meet. Talk more about that in a second. So what's going on today? I call this low barometer cold. The barometer is only around 1,000 millibars. What's that, about 29.8 or nine on the barometer? So low barometer cold is colder up in the sky than down near the ground. So instead of an inversion this morning, we have temperature close to 60, while on top of Mount Washington, that's where the cold is, it's 30 degrees. So there's a 30 degree temperature gradient in the bottom less than a mile of the atmosphere. Another inch of snow fell on Mount Washington, now two inches for the month. That's 200% of the normal snowfall for the month of June on Mount Washington. I don't have all the stats on that. I know I've been getting requests on stats, uh, how much snow, yeah, Dave, I'll, I'll look into that and try and find out. Anyhow, uh, low barometer cold is very unstable. So what's gonna happen here, this wind from the west is going to decrease with some sunshine warming up the land. Actually, the wind has been so fickle lately, I'm not even sure why it's so windy right now. Uh, we have a lot of uh, interest in what the wind is gonna do. We're gonna have sun and thunder storms developing again this afternoon in low barometer cold. Maybe not as strong as yesterday. Who thought there would be a severe thunderstorm over Buzzards Bay last evening? Uh, but again, uh, in this kind of a vulnerable atmosphere, it's so cold aloft, and obviously there's some wind aloft, we can get these thunderstorms very localized with some small hail. And Kevin, is that your boat tempo? What's the tempo? What's the wind gonna do for the race this evening? And Wayne and uh, Hingham, Let's see, the low tide is happening this morning, so it's gonna be high tide around 3 p.m., so you're gonna be in an outgoing tide around 6 p.m., and look at the wind barbs. The wind is expected to settle way down. That has to do with diurnal heating of the land, so as you warm up the air over the land, the land warms up and the air warms up. That air starts to rise, and it draws in the cooler air off of the ocean, and you end up with almost a, a doldrum type situation there at 6 p.m. There it is. Very little in the way of uh, pressure gradient and should be pretty. Maybe have a, a thunderstorm on the horizon, but I think you're gonna be dry with an outgoing tide. Once again, uh, local knowledge is gonna pay, play a big role with that light wind I'm expecting. It's so hard to get the wind right. It's been so fickle lately and also where, where and when it's gonna rain. Uh, the big picture pattern, this big upper level low, really kind of doubling down over us again right now, but it's a lower barometer, so the surface down at the very lowest parts of the atmosphere is warmer. So we are managing the 60s while it's only freezing up about four or 5,000 feet. And that's where you get the hailers and the, and the rain and the thunder. But uh, that upper level low does turn into a ridge there over about Sunday or so. Now, wholesale changes to early next week. Upper level low had been forecast to go 
over the mid-Atlantic states. Here it is from a couple days ago. That's when the Euro was forecasting seven inches of rain in Connecticut. Now look where it wants to put the upper level low. Up in Ontario, that's a huge difference. The heaviest rain is gonna be on the eastern side and the north side of those upper level lows. So now, instead of a, a slow moving band of heavy rain coming in next Monday, Tuesday, now it looks like just a fast moving uh, front, a lot like what happened over the winter, <laughs> where you're just uh, you're thinking, oh, it's something good's gonna happen, but now, oh, it's an inside runner, and it's gonna be a fast moving batch of rain that comes through here about Tuesday or so. Uh, so the 10 day quantitative precipitation forecast, total rain over the next 10 days has diminished. Uh, quite a bit, quite significantly, and over Quebec, there's not really much rain. There's some rain for southern Quebec, but these fires are more in central Quebec, so uh, that's not very good news to try and put these fires out. Martin Mack on Nantucket wants to know, is this smoke going to ruin our summer, all summer? I don't think so, because usually our prevailing wind is more from the west and the southwest, so as that establishes itself, at some point it should, uh, next week we should have less smoky skies here in southern New England and Nantucket. All right, so it's just hit or miss in the rain showers. I know a lot of uh, graduations and parties, and Saturday there are still some scattered rain showers around. Sunday probably mostly dry. Now Monday looks mostly dry, and next week on the 14 day, even though there are a lot of raindrops on there, I think the only really kind of potentially wet day would be Tuesday later in the day. Otherwise, uh, more of a summery pattern, 70s next week. So what was I doing? Working outdoors on Cape Cod, well, out and indoors yesterday, and I really did not get irritated by the smoke. It was more just very, very interesting having yellow shadows on the ground and kind of having that thunderstorm come in. I heard the thunder around 6 p.m. I'm like, woohoo, I'm gonna get a thunderstorm. And sure enough, driving down Route 6, I didn't even check the radar. I didn't even realize there was a severe thunderstorm warning in effect. I was on the road to go and meet the elusive cranky weather guy from Twitter. Well, guess what? There he is. And he's not cranky. He's now content weather guy. TK was cranky because I couldn't get the lighting right on my selfie. Great to meet you, Phil. I'll we'll just tell you, content weather guy, his name is Phil. Really nice guy, really fun story. And of course, he got turned on to weather as a young, young person by a thunderstorm when the lightning bolt hit so close and fitting when I was going over the Sagamore Bridge. I saw a lightning bolt hit very close to where he now lives. I'm not gonna tell you the rest of that story, but it will gradually come out. Uh, the weather stick pointed sideways, so that's what's going on. The weather's kind of going sideways here. Talk to you later. Uh, antics from yesterday. Here we go again. 63 outdoors, 57 indoors. I am not turning the heat on. We're doing a deep clean of the house, so I love that it's this cool in June to be cleaning indoors and not need the air conditioner on. Not that we have an air conditioner. This is Cape Cod after all. It doesn't get hot down here, right? <laughs> Didn't used to, but it does now. Technically, I think we have a clear sky. <laughs> if this were an actual cloud, there would be some kind of a halo effect, optical phenomena, like a ring around the sun or moon, snow or rain soon. I hope it does rain, I'm clearing out some of the smoke, see how that would impact it. So far, we don't smell the smoke here on the Mid-Cape, which is good. So we're working today. Fallen's Pond. It's in the 70s, Tuesday, June 6th. Guess who's coming out the door for the first time? My tender vegetation, the winter plants, the geraniums are thriving. When you put them outdoors, they turn brown, so that will be how they all look. These green only stay like that when they don't have direct sun. So the direct sun makes them brown and they're flourishing. I'm gonna have to give a heavy prune. They're coming outside today because it's deep clean day. Need to make room. How you doing? Look at the size of that. It's a tough world out here, I gotta tell you. Especially uh, yellow shadows because of the smoke in the sky. Look at this size of these I mean there's a lot of wind out here there's a lot of rain out here I think it's done snowing we got chipmunks and squirrels and rabbits and birds and not all of you are gonna make it but we really appreciate what you've done over your winter vacation and I think we'll give you all a nice pruning beauty and everyone knows you can propagate these right cut them right down and put them in some water and You'll have even more geraniums like this. It's way too long. It'd never survive. 
this cruel world. How about this? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think I can get that to flower in a vase with some water in it after I cut it. Time will tell. All right, that's a wrap for our Cape Cod chores today. Just in the nick of time, here comes, it looks like a thunderstorm. I just heard a little thunder. Doing some indoor work, some outdoor work. A word of caution before you ever buy Leland Cypress. Uh, the, the five footers that you put to 10 feet apart turn into that wall. But you know, it's a good way to add privacy. <laughs> Unless your neighbor has a webcam that looks right over the top of it. Dude's just been staring at me all day. Yeah. It doesn't take a weatherman to know what the weather's gonna do. We get a downpour dead ahead. Probably see some lightning. Believe it or not, I hadn't looked at the radar all day. I just had my head down working and I had no idea that there was a severe thunderstorm warning in effect <laughs> for the lower cape. Gonna just miss it and just tra travel just north of it, I think. Some fat drops. And see some lightning. Come on, right now. Come on. Dash cam lightning. Bring it. I'm not a chaser. I was here before the thunderstorm. So it's chasing me. The weather follows me. I'm just catching the backside of it. Going by 132. Who's got the brown rainbow? Come on, someone tweet out a brown rainbow. Terminal moraine of, oops, see that? Instead of like, dang. Wrench an ice mass. Cause point on route six. And I was getting lightning, right? And then I went over it with my phone in my hand. Next to the power lines. That's how I roll. Beyond the shore, we'll kiss just as before. Happy we'll be beyond the sea. And never again, I'll go say. Wow. I thought I was done with it. Not quite. Storage, just figures. The heaviest rain's always right on the back side. This looks like a good 30,000 footer anyway. There was a little lightning bolt. Let's see if I can freeze that one. Alright, shutting it down. Saw one just hit the ground. Looked like it was uh, probably uh, just north of the Bourne Bridge. 